What's up guys? Guess who's back? Back again. Alright. I think uh, I left the little shooting mini game. There we go. I left it for right now. Is there anything on there now? Okay. So. Take. I shall read you the rules. This is really fun. Okay. Target practice. Game rules. Receive prizes by scoring above 3,000 points. Points bonus will be awarded for headshots. A high scoring Salazar target will appear within successful hits. Shooting an Ashley target will deduct points. Bitch always gets in the way, right? <laughs> Chicks, man. So prizes. One bottle cap will be awarded for every 3,000 points scored. Special bottle caps will be awarded by either shooting all the wooden tanks except Ashley or scoring above 4,000 points. There are 24 bottle caps in all. Each time you enter a new shoot range, six new bottle caps will become available. Some special bonuses. Each time you complete a row on the collector's base, you'll earn points. There are a total of four rows, you have four bonus chances. Bottle cap collections can be viewed in the key and treasure screen. All right, so I've got such bad memory. So from what I just read, Something shoot wrench. Guess I should talk to Oh, sorry, man. I completely blanked you. Welcome. For this game, you need to use weapons that have selected, stranger. Choose your weapon type, stranger. I'll go for rapid fire now. And then I think I'll go for, um... Oh, I... I know which one to use first. Right, we'll just roll with it. Um, it's been so long since I, uh... Since I played this. Okay, so are we set? Oh my god, right, let me sit forward and everything. <laughs> Get all prepared, okay. Right. right. Trying to get headshots if I can. Right, we've got a... Oh shit. I'm really taking this seriously. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Go. Not bad, not bad. I won't reload, reload, reload. How do I reload again? <laughs> Hang on. Oh, it's this, isn't it? There we go. My bad, my bad. I don't think I could do the sniper with the quick scope. So I think I'll try it after this, but it might be a massive fail, though. Oh my god. There we go. Oh, he's starting moving now. All right. Nice. Try my best for these headshots, man. Nice. Oh, no, 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 come on, come on. Oh. We're doing pretty well, though. Oh. We only missed a couple. 25 out of 25. Number of prizes is zero. What? Why did I not unlock any prizes? Will this be any better? Let me go back, because I've used loads of ammo. Uh, I don't understand. Why have I not got any prizes? What do you need? Uh, what the hell? Let me try sniping. This is probably going to be a massive fail. Mm. I'll try the handgun for now. Maybe it could be better, I don't know. Did I need to like make sure I hit all of them to make sure I get the uh, bottle caps? Oh, this is a bit better actually, you know. I don't know if I could hack it with an actual sniper though. Oh, this is a lot better. Oh god. Wait. Shh. No! Oh, what an idiot I am. I really should have quickly changed to the actual sniper, you know. I really should have got some. I should have got some practice on this before I even started recording it. Oh, I'm here. I might. Uh, I might have a little session on this after uh, I've recorded. Hang on. Can I quickly do it? I don't. I don't know. Ah! <laughs> what an absolute custard cream. It's not even. A, I don't even deserve to be a custard cream. I'll have to be a chocolate hobnob. No, hang on, what, what's a bad biscuit? I can't, oh, I can't hardly think of any 
eat bad biscuits because I'm a fatty. I love everything. What's a bad biscuit, guys? Comment your least favourite biscuit. <laughs> Stop laughing at me! <laughs> Alright. I might have to get some uh, practice at this. I'll have another couple of goes, I think. And if I win anything, I'll show you guys. I needed to get over 4,000. Ah, that 24 out of 25. That's killing my OCD. You're killing me. That's not too bad, though. I might come back at another time and try and win some more. Um, Right, let's go. Oh, my voice broke there. I hate that. <laughs> You've been awarded one bottle caps. Oh, can we see what it is? I hate when my voice kind of breaks and stuff. It's like, I'm a chick, man. <laughs> what? Oh, right. Diamond? Oh, nice. Oh, really? After all that, I get one, and he's in his bitch. <laughs> Look at her looking all innocent. You're like a prostitute on a street corner, you know? <laughs> Not bad. Booty. Stop, stop. She's jailbait. Turn on sound. Y? Press Y for the sound. Oh my god, that sounds so annoying through the headset. Leon, yeah, I ain't, I ain't dealing with you anymore. What the hell, man? Just be like taking you out. Yeah, you know. You know. Right. Let's move on anyway with the story. Oh, we get to ditch her now anyway, so this is good. Right. Right, so we've had our little fun. Am I... No, I'm not going the right way. There we go. We go down this uh, path. <coughs> oh! You all right? I'm fine. Leave me alone. Ashley, wait. <gasps> yes. See you later. See you later, alligator. In a while, jailbait. Leon ain't a pedophile. Ashley. What's going on? See you later! <laughs> Leon, we're gonna have a party! Celebrate Don't worry, Ashley. I'm good coming time. for you! Come on! Do do Hell yes! <laughs> this calls for a celebration. Let's save it. Um these are just literally random ones. I'll just go with this one. <laughs> so guys. Welcome to the party. The party's just started. Is our booty? Hunnigan, what happened? Oh. The transmission got cut off. <laughs> no! Salazar, how'd you... We've got the line. We didn't want you telling everyone any unnecessary information. Where's Ashley? Ah, oh, so she fell into one of our wonderful traps. We'll make sure we find her. Don't you worry about her. Oh, yes. I let our miserable insects out for some exercise down in the sewer. Thanks. That should keep me company, because boredom kills me. I'll 
look forward to our next encounter in another life. In another life? We ain't gonna see you in another life because you have friends. You're definitely going to hell. Leon's going to, you know, heaven and all that. Ash is on the other side. I'd better find another route quick. Another route. <laughs> As if our booty was not on the line. So that means Salazar, he went to Poundland, got himself a, a cheeky walkie talkie, and he's jacked the line. You little snake. <laughs> right. Oh, this is nice to get back on this. As I always apologise, guys, I literally always apologise every gaming session I jump on. Um, apologise for the delay. Um, I am hoping to get this finished pretty... Oh, what was... I am hoping to get this finished, you know, pretty fast-ish. I'm really going to try for you guys. Because um, it's not that I want to, like, oh, get this done. Like, you know, I'm bored, whatever. It's nothing like that at all. Um, I just can't wait to start new games, you know. Um, it'd be cool if you guys could let me know what games and stuff. Um, I've already got like so many in mind though. Um, I think, oh these are them invisible ones. I'm thinking maybe more Resident Evils and I was thinking, oh, I was thinking maybe some Crash Bandicoot on the PlayStation 1. Oh, I knew you were dead. You go there to friggin' spec savers to see these. Is that? You've had three shots, bro. Look at those freaking spec savers. And speaking of that, I'm actually um, going for an eye test very soon because I get like these. I don't think qualifies to be a full on migraine, but I get these headachey, migrainey kind of things. What? <gasps> no! Here we go. Oh, no, no, there's two! Bro, right, you know what, I think I'm just gonna, hang on, hang on, they're quicker than I am, aren't they, wait, I can't even carry on telling my story, you guys, I'm sorry, did that not even, did that not do anything, I don't have to, oh my god, I don't have to use a couple of grenades, I may have to, you know, I can't, I can't see, I, I cannot see. Is there any fish in here as well? I need fish as well, man. No, I've got hurt. I loved it when we went fishing earlier on in the game, man. That was so cool. Um, but yeah, I keep getting these headachey, migrainey things. Like, my head hurts. I don't know where it comes from. I don't know if, like... I don't know. I don't know if it's stress, anxiety related. Like, I really don't know. Um, but my mum... Obviously, my mum being a typical mother... Ah, oh, you're always playing on the Xbox too much and all that, you know. And again. One more, one more, one more. Oh, we got him. Um, you know, she, she's just saying I'm playing too much, too many games and all that. And I'm like, I literally said to her, I said, what else am I meant to do with my free time? It's what I do, I game. Um, I literally hardly do anything else. I do go out a bit, but honestly, I'm really not the most social person at all. I don't, like, have to go out every weekend or anything. Anyway, Lewis, what up? There are some parasites that have the ability to control their hosts. It's basic knowledge among biologists, but not much is known as to how the parasites do it. Studying these parasites specifically might reveal some clues as to how the powers of the last plagas work and perhaps provide more insight on the victims of the Las Plagas, the Las Granados. Freaking ten pages? <sighs> there, here is a list of some parasites that have the ability to manipulate the behavioural patterns of their host. Oh my god, really? Unless you're really interested in biology, keep reading, keep listening to me, but if not, you can skip along a few seconds. Diprocoelium. Once the larvae of this parasite migrates to the ant esophagus, that's the um, neck area, it alters the behaviour of the ants. When the temperature drops in the evening, the infected ant climbs to the top of a plant and clamps onto a leaf using its mandible. Mandible's the jaw. I see, I'm not bad at biology. Ah. <laughs> it stays there immobile until the next morning, placing the ant where it's most vulnerable to be eaten by a browsing herbivores such as sheep. 
One could conclude that the parasite is manipulating the host's behaviour to make its way into the body of its definitive host. Galactosomum. The larvae of this parasite makes its home inside the brain of a fish such as the yellowtail and the parrot base. <laughs> so you know what's funny, it's saying it makes its home inside the brain and the last three letters are mum. Like, and aren't mums annoying and they try get in your head? Mums are actually parasites! There you go, that's my theory. Anyway, once infected, the fish make their way up to the water surface where they'll swim until they're eaten by seabirds. Once again, this peculiar behaviour can only be explained by the parasite's desire to get into the bodies of the seabirds. I start talking in my normal voice, and then I end up going a little... I'm trying to be posh or something, I don't even know. Leucochloridium. This parasite's sporocysts develop in the snail's tentacles. The sporocysts are vivid in colour and pulsate continually, somewhat like a worm. Surprisingly, the infected snail makes its way to the top of a plant where it is more visible to the eyes of birds, therefore more likely to be eaten. Once eaten by a bird, the parasite will complete its metamorphosis into an adult. That's pretty funny actually, because um, not that long ago... Oh, I'm waiting for you bro! Because not that long ago... Um, oh, what the... I shot there as well. Not long ago, I uh, studied um, English um, as one of my like subjects in America. Oh shh! I need to reload. Can I do a quick scope? Quick scope! Quick scope! Beautiful. Look at that, guys. Call the duty quick scoping. Quick scoping pays off. But yeah, um, I did like a range of subjects in my couple of years I've just done in America. I played soccer and I was studying, for those who don't know. And um, yeah, I did English and that's interesting because I actually wrote one of my um, like final exam essay things on metamorphosis. I can't remember who um, wrote it, but it looks like he was eating lamb until just recently. Judging by the wound, it's a quick death. All right. But yeah, I can't remember who wrote it, but it is about a guy who wakes up and he's uh, he's like a big, like, ant kind of creature. He's, he's a big insect. Right, hang on, I've looked into all these. I'm just making sure <laughs> I've got everything. It's got to be a way to drain the water. Oh, okay. It's a shame we can't just kind of, I don't know, shoot it or something. I'm reloading the hell out of this. We're going to see more. And I will combine this. That'll do. Uh, but yeah, it's interesting. Fancy waking up and you're an insect. You know what? I wouldn't mind waking up in the morning and discovering that I'm a bearded dragon. That'd be pretty cool. I've always wanted a bearded dragon. Well, I say always. I've wanted one for, I don't know, six months or something. <laughs> Feels like forever though. Um, I actually made a Facebook status about my mum calling her an asshole because I said, uh, you know, I want to be in a dragon, but my mum won't let me. I'm 23, you asshole. <laughs> and it was really funny because I tagged my mum in it, but bearing in mind my mum's old. No, she's not old, old. She's, she turns 47 in January. Um, I wonder if this video will even go up by January. Yeah, it will, it will. It'll be up even before Christmas, this video. We are on the 17th of December. Anyway. Tagged her in the status, called her an asshole because she won't let me have a bearded dragon at the moment. And uh, yeah, she knows a lot of old people who have Facebook, and they were like, "You need to apologise, call your mum an asshole." Well, I don't know why I'm saying it in American accent. They're just, they're just things just like Yeah, they're just like, you know, that's not very nice. You should apologise. And then the other ones are all like. Oh, Kerry, I wouldn't let her either. That's terrible she speaks to like that. Honestly, I just have a laugh. Oh, sorry about the uh, the noise. <laughs> Flattering away my left thumbstick right next to the mic. Controls are so freaking noisy. Um, but yeah, so funny how people take things so personal. I mean, I'm the nicest person ever. Honestly, I'm the most sensitive, most nice person ever, but I do have a laugh. 
I sound, I sound, can sound sarcastic and everything. You just need to, you know, realize that me and my mom, we, oh, no, 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 don't do this to me. You have a laugh, you know. I didn't realize I needed to, I was so close to it. There we go. God, I'm having so much fun. I might actually end up. I thought that was a velvet blue. Get here, you little treacle. You naughty treacle. Um, if I remember, I might. I think I'll. Uh, I'll sing that at the end of this uh, playthrough, guys. I'll sing. Turn up my life. 